Hello everyone. Welcome to Cheater's Blessings. My name is Marjorie and this is my channel where I do all kinds of creative and fun DIYs. Today I'm participating in a Keep It Simple Sunday challenge held monthly by Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY and her co-host co is Lynn from Hot Mess and Hot Glue. So I'm going to start off by making my sign for my lemon wreath. And I've got this wood plaque from the Dollar Tree. Um, I got this lemon fabric from Hobby Lobby. And then I have that blessed wood sign from Hobby Lobby as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some of my Kills white chalk paint and I'm going to paint the middle of the sign. So once that's dry, I take some Mod Podge and I just paint the edge of the signs, the tops and the bottom. And I'm going to Mod Podge some of that fabric on there. So I will add a, another coat of the Mod Podge on top just to make sure that this is secure and sealed. So then what I do is I take a little bit of jute and that I got from Walmart and I actually just cover the edges where the paint and the fabric meet. Now I planned on putting the little jute string back in that I took off, but once I started trying to poke the hole back in the fabric was just coming up and so I just said forget it I really didn't need that portion to hang it so here I'm taking my hot glue and just actually hot gluing the word blessed to my sign now if you want to you can paint it um, but I actually like the natural wood on this uh, I do have some wood in my um, or burlap in my sign now I am taking my work wreath frame, which I just had a Dollar Tree wreath frame and I took some Chanel stems and added three to each section, a total of 18. Um, and then I've got my 21 inch deco mesh from Hobby Lobby. Now I scrunched up the ends on one side and I'm just taking a zip tie and attaching it to um, one of the crossbars on my wreath and then just trimming off the excess You don't have to trim off the excess. You can leave it there and tuck it in later. It's all up to you But that's something that I like to do so then I take the point of the Zip tie sorry, I couldn't think of what it was called I take the zip tie and I measure out 10 inches and I add it into one of my Chanel stems then from that Chanel stem I add, add I sorry <laughs> I'm all tongue-tied today from that point then I add, measure out another 10 inches and put that into the next Chanel stem and I just go around doing that until all 18 Chanel stems are full so now I've got some of this yellow deco mesh that I'm cutting to 15 inch strips. And I'm just going to do a ruffle method. So I take the part where it curls and I make sure it's 
downward on my mat and I just walk my fingers up the middle and it kind of gives you like a little ruffle curl not a curl but it gives you a little ruffle like a little bow tie whatever you want to call it um, and I um, put those into the Chanel stems now make sure that you try to get it as even as possible like so you're pinching in the middle of that ruffle and putting that into the Chanel stem otherwise one side will be higher sitting higher than the other side and you don't want that So I'm not going to show you the whole process, but I did want to show you several times on how to do this. <clears throat> so I took my ribbon and I cut them to 14 inch strips or that are going to end up being my tails. And I'm just dovetailing the ends of it just to make it all nice, pretty and finished. Um, and so then what I'll do is I'll take one of each and I'll put it on top of each other, find the middle point, pinch it in the middle, kind of run my fingers on the edge of the ribbons to give it that curl, and place it in the middle of the Chanel stem. And here, I think I did 16 tails. I didn't do the full 18 just because I know I'm going to put a bow on here. And wherever you put your bow, you really don't have to have the um, tails. So you can save a little bit of your ribbon that way and have extra loops in your bow if you don't put um, tails in each of the Chanel stems. But it's completely up to you. You can if you want to. So here I've got um, my ribbon cut into 30 inch pieces. I do have two of the two and a half inch and then this one and a half inch uh, striped ribbon that I have. And all I'm doing is I cut 30 inches, folded it in half, dovetailed the ends, and now I'm measuring the folded end to six inches, pinching it at six inches, and then just alternating the direction of the loops as I'm grabbing them in my hand. And this is just going to help with the bow to make the loops and the tails go in different directions. So you're not really having to struggle too much when you're fluffing it out. Now you can definitely have all the loops going one direction if you want to and all the tails in the opposite direction. That works just fine as well. Um, either or is actually great. They both turn out to be some beautiful bows. So I take two of my small zip ties and make one big one. And please don't do what I do here. This was a mistake that I made. I should have put my Chanel stem in there as well. And I got a little too excited and tightened the bow down. Um, I'm sorry, the zip ties down over the bow. And as you see here, I can't get my Chanel stem in there. So I try to put my scissors in there so I can have a little room to put my Chanel stem and luckily this worked and I didn't have to cut off my zip ties. I was able to just pull the Chanel stem through and here I am just making sure it's twisted on there really good and I'll begin to fluff my bow as soon as I attach it to my wreath frame. Now for the challenge this month, um, definitely check out the playlist in the description box and check out all the wonderful crafters and everything they've made. Make sure you um, check out Melissa's and Lynn's channel as well. And now this is a monthly challenge that she does every month. Um, the Keep It Simple challenge is basically creating anything you want um, not really using tools or anything like that, but just the bare necessities to create beautiful DIYs or whatever it is that you choose to make. 
So as you see here, I'm just separating the tails and I'm separating the loops. Now with the tails, I'm taking it and kind of curving it onto my hand to give it a little more fluffed up, poofy look. And like I said, if you do it, if you make the bow this method with the alternating loops on each end, you're going to get some tails that are going throughout the, the bow. Whereas if you were going to do all the loops on one end versus the tails on the opposite end, um, all your tails are going to be at the bottom and your loops are going to be at the top. So it's really however you want the end result to be. Like I said, I think they're both beautiful turning out this way. So I'm not really adding too much else and with my Chanel stems, I go ahead and kind of, well, I fold some of them down and you can do that. It's a, a, a trick you can use, but I, I always like to fold mine down or curl it with a pencil. I don't like to cut it off because if I choose to go back and add something onto my wreath, then I still have Chanel's stems that are long enough to be able to add to. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking some of that one and a half inch ribbon and I'm just cutting 12 inch strips so I can just make some loops like a, for the bows and I'm going to kind of put that in every other Chanel stem that's on the bottom but on the top I pretty much put them in all of the ones that on the top aside from where my sign is going to go. Now, as you see on the back of my sign, I added two scrap pieces of painter sticks, and that was so when I use my staple gun here, it doesn't pierce through the wood in the sign. And this works out great. So if you guys ever have that problem when you're using the Dollar Tree signs, just add you a couple of crafts, um, scrap wood on the back and glue it down and it works just great so now I'm just gonna attach my sign and then I'll continue going around adding the little green and white bows and then I will add some small lemons as well
so here's the finished product i think it is so cute i just am in love with the lemon decor so please tell me what you think in the comments before below and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and turn on all those notifications so you'll be able to see all of my new diys thank you for stopping by and you guys have a blessed day